in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers that ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't gonna lie to y'all the past two days felt terrible like it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years so all of that to say man I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God and the name of the song is called Love Yours I want to do that for y'all right now <laughs> 